Hi, this is Jessica on the Pet Finder team at Purina, and I'm really excited today to show you a brand new feature that just launched on Pet Finder for our um, members. Um, when you log into your pro dashboard on pro.petfinder.com, um, you're going to see a new tab over here in the left hand column called supply and demand. If you select that, you will be taken to a quick explanation up at the top, our quick start guide with a link to some step by step instructions that will give you more detail. Um, but below that, you will see the meat of what we're talking about today. So. Um, What's currently on screen is uh, a compilation of all pet searches that occurred in the United States on Pet Finder for the last week, Sunday through Saturday. Um, the categories at the top that you can filter by represent all of the categories that pet seekers can search on um, when they're looking for a companion animal on Pet Finder. And then over here in the corner, you'll see the total searches is captured at the top. Below that on the right, you will see the breakdown of states and the total number of pet searches within each of those states. And this is ranked in descending order from most to least. Um, you'll also notice there's a little plus sign next to each state you can expand and it will give you even more detail. You will see a city by city breakdown of where the, the that pet seeking occurred. So um, another way to get added detail is to use these uh, buttons up on the right hand corner of the map to zoom in and out. Or if you want to click on a bubble within a state, for California for instance, um, you'll see all the others have kind of grayed out. And then if you right click on that, you'll have the option to drill down. And what that's going to do is give you a visual representation of all the cities that you can then expand upon over here at right. You can also continue to move in to get more detail. So you can see where the clusters of pet seeking occurred. And if you hover over each of these individual clusters, you will get a total for that area um, where the pet seeking happened. Uh, to reset the map, you can zoom out here, you can collapse here, or you can come over here and reset by clicking on supply demand, and it'll bring you back to the top of the page. One other um, navigation tip I'd like to point out is that as you're engaging with these filters, so if you are only concerned with cats, you'll see that the total pet searches for cats drop down to 673,000. Um, you can get more details. So if you're only interested in adult cats, you will see that there are 16,000 adult cat searches in the United States. Um, and then if you are um, wanting to remove a filter that you applied, you can click on the eraser up in the top right corner of each of these categories, and it will take you back to the default of all. One additional navigation tip that I'm going to show you to get from the demand side to the supply side, you go all the way down to the bottom of the screen and you click over here on supply. So supply is a little bit different um, than the demand side. The demand side is all pet seeking in the United States for the seven day period of Saturday through Sunday. The supply side is cats and dogs posted as available for adoption on Pet Finder for the same time period, the prior week, Sunday through Saturday. And the categories that you see at the top that you can filter on are the same primary categories that you all enter when you list a pet for adoption. So 212,000 pets posted for adoption, cats and dogs in the US last week, Sunday through Saturday. If we're interested in only the cat portion of that segment, we can filter and there were 108,000 cats posted for adoption. Again, you'll see at right, you have the columns that give you the state by state total. You have the same plus and minus navigation buttons. But the one difference is that when you expand the state, you will see the cities and you can do the same here where you right click and drill down to get into that level of detail. But you can also expand the city and you will get a shelter and rescue list of where those animals that you're searching on are located within those cities. So it gives you even more detail and what we hope it will empower you all to do is make some really um, distinct and, and um, informed decisions about 
uh, possible movement of pets from one location to another based on what you're seeing on the demand side um, where the interests may lie. Um, so we're really excited about this new tool and we hope that you are too. Um, we will be doing some webinar sessions um, later in uh, the year and into 2023 to talk about this tool and how it's being used. And we look forward to hearing from you all and knowing what you think about it. Thank you so much.